Hey, hi, and hello. Oh, boy. Time for cringe. Just in case you guys haven't been paying attention, uh, currently the right wing and Republican Party are gearing up for the next election cycle by making trans people and the LGBTQ community at large kind of a hot button issue. They're doing this through the courts, through elected officials and legislation, and of course, through their new and old media pipelines. And once the bigotry narrative comes down, trickles down through all these like, you know, really crappy platforms. Uh, it's the shrimp, the disgusting, uh, gut churning filth babies at the very bottom that kind of pick up on it and go, <coughs> enter Forgiato Blow. Yes, this husky, weird looking meatball of a man is the subject of today's video. If you are unfamiliar uh, with his work, he is a rapper, a songwriter, and a singer. Essentially, he is what you would get if you uh, took that rapper Stitches and instead of selling bricks, he sold right-wing conspiracies. And instead of sniffing Coke, he sniffed Donald Trump farts. That is this weird beard, face tattooed motherfucker in a nutshell. And he has internalized the current directive from the right uh, that is trickling down at the moment. And that is to focus on the big box store target that for whatever reason is the new battleground in the right wing culture war, because apparently Target likes to sell clothes that tell people it's okay to be gay and stuff. I know, insane. They're, they're really tearing at the fabric of society. Obviously, while what these right-wing freakazoids uh, are doing is uh, terrible and harmful and toxic, I personally can't see uh, this being a winning battle for them in the long run, especially since uh, many people are sick and tired of hearing them talk about it at this point. And I feel like all I really can do in response to that with my channel is show you how weird and idiotic they're being. Because let me tell you, what you're about to see in this video is not normal behavior. <laughs> it's like a big baby. Zoom in on this right here. I love how the most watched part of the YouTube video is literally within the first two or three seconds of it, you, you have that peak right at the start because immediately after that, most people were like, nope, nah, I'm out of here. Most people saw this thing and were like, you know what? This is just not for me, not my tempo. All right, let's let's look at this thing and uh, see what it's uh, see what it's got to offer already. It's it's this this image right here is worth a thousand words in and of itself. You're looking at American exceptionalism here, uh, meaning that there are lots of countries where you get things like an education, except uh, America. Tentative shoppers, tentative shoppers. All right, time. You you cannot tell me that this video is not a Russian psyop off the bat. Look at this cro mag and meatball from the Eastern Bloc. You're telling me this guy didn't fly in from Moscow to do this video? Bro was sipping borscht right out of the bottle uh, while he was still in diapers. There's a cleanup yeah. on every aisle. Yeah. Yeah. Target yeah. is targeting yeah. your kids. Yeah. Dude's looking like an oversized Lil Durk with a Donald Trump t-shirt, and, and that's just that's just cringe. Target, target, yeah, they target kids. Target, target, yeah, they target. Yeah, you know, so far they've been what 30 seconds into this video, and from what I've seen, they've only put like one product on the screen that has a rainbow on it. With the way they're freaking out, you would think that like Target just has rainbows flying left and right and that, you know, every aisle is essentially like a pride parade. But, uh, you know, they, they just keep kind of showing these Stella bottles because it must have been the only thing that either they could find that had a rainbow on it or that um, staff would let them hold without kicking them out of the store. Target's dead wrong, trying to play with the kids. It's the mayor of Megaville. I'm preaching again. You know that. <laughs> And the mayor make of you. Are these tampons LGBT? Is that the Statue of Liberty tattooed on his face? What a freak. How did they not wrangle this guy up in the Jan 6th stuff? Like he, he had to be there. Why is he not in jail? I mean, can you not nab this guy for at least being there in spirit? LGBTQ don't win too far. Do these people not know that like rainbows pre-exist the LGBTQ community and is used in a variety of different intellectual properties as, I don't know, like a brand 
wind or a color scheme or a whatever. Not everything that has a rainbow on it is is, is gay and stuff. Man, they're they're really struggling to find what they're they're rapping about in the video, and it's just a <laughs> just pitiful. Oh man, look at all those brain quests and crossword books in the background. I know those crosswords are A B C D, but are they L G B T? They leave What's called? Oof. It's, we're slurring. Disgusting. Pushing the gender, promoting sexual genders. I'm on. <laughs> This is what I was saying earlier, because at, at, when, when the right wing decides a narrative at the top to sort of like trickle down to the bottom, in a way it becomes like a weird game of telephone. And when you get to just like, you know, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel of the right wing influencers like this freak over here, you know, th there's, there's like a bit lost in translation in the process. You know, you, you start up here and you're talking about like, you know, uh, transitioning and grooming and so on and so forth. And then eventually when you get to this guy's like, Oh man, they're making sexual genders. I can't believe it. Je they're making sexual genders. I'm only rocking with Bruce. Don't rock with no Caitlyn Jenner. You think that gay sh don't get you paid? Yeah, we gon' see. It's my logo 20, 24, we Trumpet, baby. And again, like the more he goes in on this topic, the, the less there is actually even to see in the target of what the hell he's rapping about. What have we seen anywhere in this video thus far is, is, is giving you the idea that target is like trying to push something onto you. Uh, uh, other than something to, to buy. The ideology is capitalism. They're pushing capitalism on you. They want to sell you things. That's that's the point of going into Target, to sell you stuff. And uh, as they put stuff in the store, Target thinks, hey, there are different groups of people who like different things. And maybe we could take some of those things that those groups of people specifically like and then sell those things to them. Just like how they also see your stupid, goofy, meatball, patriotic ass. And they're like, hey, this dummy might like an American flag. Let's put one of those in the store too. There's never gonna be another straight couple ever again to ever exist in the history of the world because of that uh, sign at Target that's a take pride. New story, Target, Target and kids. They going after our youth and yeah, they do it like this. If you ain't mad yet, what? Do it like what? Labeling products that they're not even old enough to buy? Yeah, Target, they're, they're targeting kids by putting rainbows on alcohol. That's how they get to them. First it's this, then they're gonna be getting to the kids with rainbow cigarettes. Pretty soon they'll be making other things kids aren't supposed to have access to gay to get to them too, like porn. Can you imagine gay porn? They manipulating minds and making evil impressions. Got little boys tucking up by time they teens got depression. We need a clean You know, honestly, again, we're almost done with this video and the only thing I've seen thus far that should not be in the fucking toy aisle are these freaks. These psychotic man children should not be around actual children. If I was in Target and like walking my seven children through the store and they were well behaved and I decided I was going to get them all toys because they were just like, you know, good in the store and stuff. If I saw these dudes in the aisle, I would be like, sorry guys, we're <laughs> no toys today. <laughs> MAGA Meatball and Dmitry Barishnikov and their weird friends uh, have decided they want to uh, play with the Paw Patrol toys today. I don't like how he's looking at the Target dog. They've shown this dog a a ton of times and this guy seemingly can't get away from the dog also he's wearing a las vegas sweater isn't that sin city central uh, for the us of a this guy's singing about you know washing a target with the blood of christ and you know as we know what happens in las vegas stays in las vegas wash it with the blood of christ it's needed here so we don't think twice there's literally a book behind this man about farts i can't think of anything more straight TBH. We're, we're, we're not watching this uh, this chorus again. God. Target, target, yeah, they target in. I hope this video has been passed around the Target HQ so that th the photos of these four weirdos are in every store. And if they are seen on the premises for whatever reason, just, just remove them. Don't let them bother anyone. Yeah, this, this has been a lot of cringe. A lot of cringe in a short period of time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much uh, as I did. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it more than I did. Me reacting to it. I, I can't say I really enjoyed it in, in any way outside of finding these guys to be goofy as hell. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up with a link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, uh, Target forever.